the thing about uh, the stock market and the connection with um, Bitcoin and other assets is, you know, we always get the question, um, is it like, will Bitcoin uh, stay if there is any problem, if there is a war or if there is like, you know, the pandemic that we had? And it seems that what we've seen is, I think one thing to understand is that it is like people are buying or selling those assets, right? Um, being the stock market or being Bitcoin. And so obviously you will see the same kind of behavior. If there is fear, you will see those fear reflected in every market. It's not it's not a fiat thing, right? It's it's a people thing. Like people are worried, they they liquidate some of their assets that are less liquid, and you know, they invest in things that they think they will need. Um more urgently and and of course that's something that you you could see during the pandemic bitcoin immediately dropped however the thing that you can also see is that it recovers a lot faster if you look at the um, normal stock stock market or even the the currencies for because that's more the kind of things that are comparable to bitcoin or or dv right um is the currencies and then you see that the way to recover for a currency is actually a very slow grind up. And on cryptocurrencies, it's actually extremely fast. Every time there is a fear that's coming, every time you have a new hope about basically, uh, you know, the adoption of those currencies, and you can see that um, it raised to insane levels. And that's for one reason, right? The reason is that everybody understands we're very early. And everybody understands that at some point it will become um, a main, uh, you know, a mainstream asset. And, and of course, everybody um, understands that this crisis, when it, whichever the crisis you want to talk about, was temporary. And, and then now we're going back to um, adoption, right? While on the fiat side, it's quite the opposite. Like every time there is a crisis, everybody wonders if it's the last crisis for this system. Because... You know, nobody knows if it will if we'll be able to uh, recover after those big ones. I, th I think that's yeah. a good point to make about the recovery. When you think about stocks and world markets, those are dealing with companies. A company could be in a country that is having some sort of turmoil. That affects what shares you own in that company. If you own cryptocurrency, Bitcoin in our example, it doesn't matter if a miner in a specific country or in the case of, let's say, Asia, we've seen um, in the Middle East or we've seen in Asia where certain uh, uh, countries will ban something. That's not, a, that's not a war. That's not a problem. And in any case, it's a war against crypto. But mm -hmm. what ends up happening is that nothing really changes. There's a short term little fear that goes on. But then those miners then either migrate or other miners take up that opportunity. So when it comes to crypto and it comes to supporting crypto, it's resistant to certain things that really do negatively impact, let's say, banking centers or companies for that matter. Um, they can be restricted, they can be censored, and they can be blocked. And that can affect, that can affect, I can't even speak, that can affect a lot of their network connectivity where, no pun intended, that network connectivity in something like a blockchain is flexible, it's malleable, it, it, it drops one connection and increases another connection. You're never stuck in any way. So I think that there's some of the technological infrastructures that benefit the value said offering would be in a currency um, and it's very different than what we would say the value that you may have held in ownership in a company. It's a, it's a, it's an economy, and it's a currency as opposed to, and it's decentralized as opposed to a company that can be impacted legally in so many ways. So I, I think that that probably has an effect on the yeah. It's the funny. Market. It's like the S and P is kind of like this index of of like five hundred companies. Yeah, and I you can sort of think of Bitcoin and some other ones as kind of a like an index of of like i don't know 100 countries i don't know i don't know actually know the distribution of miners throughout the world but it's kind of an index of multiple countries um and still being pretty rock solid and, and it may not be, i mean in sorry the price may not be an index but the hash rate may be an index or things like that something other than there's a bunch of interesting data that comes out of 
looking at all aspects of major blockchain uh, information uh, and you can use it to evaluate like what's happening in different places, much like you can look at sectors on the, so on the stock market. Um, don't really see a lot of people talking about that, but I think you can do it that way. Um, speaking of the S and P, um, I was just looking at uh, Peter Brandt. I, I, as I told you guys, I don't really know who he is from, other than being able to predict one of the tops. <laughs> um, but he's looking at the stock market, the S and P five hundred, and saying that there's nothing bearish there at all. Um, whereas I see uh, a tweet of the Canadian uh, minister, or something or other, I can't remember exactly what I saw, um, and uh, complaining about how Canadians' economy is on is on the ropes. It's just weird to see these kind of on this in the stock market side, very uh, opposing kind of uh, ideas and um, kind of impressions. That's what I'm looking for uh, about how how things are behaving right now. Yeah. It's very bullish, according to Peter Brandt, in, for the S and P 500, and it's looking super bearish about the entire economy. Uh, I wish I could find who 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 wrote that. Um, in uh uh for in in canada uh according to this one guy of course oh mm -hmm. uh, it was the it's tiff macklem the governor of the central bank of canada so i'm not just talking about some dude in canada i'm talking about you know a significant person saying this uh about the financial collapse in 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 the fee of the fiat system in canada so it, like it's kind of strange on on one you know one set of one country and performance and and outlook versus uh, another, um, and you know, whereas Bitcoin is kind of this aggregate of what's happening all over the world.